Outsiders, what's up? Tony from the Outsider channel with you today uh, once again, and I'm at Starbucks. I'm in line. I'm getting coffee before I meet up with our Patreon crew for a group ride today in Laguna. Two birds with one stone today. I got a Patreon group ride. You're going to see some great people on the trails. And also, I'm going to do my go-to Laguna loop. I've done this in the past before, but it's a great thing to add into the series. And it's a great loop that you can do within an hour, a little bit over an hour. And uh, it, it's just a perfect loop in Laguna. And it's got a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm going to send you over to myself on the other side when I get there. Before and after uh, I get a coffee. Does that make sense? No, I'm, I'm before coffee. You'll see me after coffee. Let's see you out there. All right, we got the group behind me. We are at the Willow staging area. I've probably said that like 10 times so far in this Laguna series because it's, it's such a great place to park. It's Sunday morning, so there's going to be a lot of hikers on the trail, a lot of people out. Uh, it's a beautiful day, about 75 degrees. Winter is here, it's riding season here in Southern California and we've got a good crew to do it with. Today started out one of those days I went and uh, ready to go and I lost my wallet. I looked for my wallet for about an hour and then had to rush down to get here. Still made it here early, but there's nothing worse than feel like feeling like you're losing your stuff. We're going on a trip to Big Sur next week for Christmas. My license and all my credit cards are in there. Feels like uh, we depend too much on this plastic and stuff, but just kind of how society has become. I don't mean to get too deep with you guys on the credit cards and <laughs> where society and technology is going. It just basically sucked I lost my wallet. How about that? We'll leave it at that. I ended up putting up a uh, porch swing this week. The first time it went around, the uh, hooks didn't hold because the wood was rotted and I fell on my ass. Pip didn't seem to care. Had to go to Home Depot and get some bolts, do it properly, and uh, now it's doing pretty good. We got a porch swing down the front porch. And that's that, that's my news of the week. All right, we're taking a ride on Bomber Spur, at least the Bomber Ridge. I've done this before in the recent video, so uh, you know you know how it goes, guys. If you, got, if you have uh, an inkling on where to go, check out my Laguna series. There's so much info in there. This ride is gonna change up about the halfway point after Lizard. But as far as getting a lizard, it's the same from Willow staging area that we've done before. All right, fence line, really great warm up trail. We've done it before in this series. Little rock garden on the right hand side. Today, you hear the bell, which is good. Right behind me. It's a Sunday morning. So I'm expecting hikers. So I'm gonna take it a little bit more chill than I usually would. During the week, you can kind of let it open a little bit more. Watch the front tires here, especially in the corners. I've said it before and I'll say it again. And what we're gonna do is, like I did before in the previous video, we're gonna come to the gate and we're gonna opt out early and hit up Lizard from the right-hand side. Just makes it a little bit easier, a little less climbing if you're wanting to get to the descent quicker. You can see the gate coming up. And then you just make a right on the side of it and pull up to Bomber. All right, Lizard Trail following Scott. He's got the bell. We're going the safe route today because it's Sunday morning and hikers galore. Parking lot was full. So you know what's happening. They're out here, groups of them. Thank you, bunch more. There's one. And for those of you that have not watched the other videos in the series, Lizard Trail is featured quite a bit. And there's so many loops to go off of this specific trail. You can really mix things up. Lizard part two. I've shown this trail numerous times in this series as well. So I'm just gonna show you the first little bit. 
lots of hikers and I want to take a chill. Thank you. Especially through this area, it's very blind. I usually would be like shredding right now. <laughs> I forgot to let Scott go ahead because he has the bell. I forgot to let you go. Way more confident with him in front with the bell. So what we usually would do outside of the end of the lizard trail would be take a right and go up to hit Crystal Cove again, but right now we're not doing that. The go-to loop heads left from here. All right, we're heading left down Laurel Spur and we're gonna follow it. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna be selling my Tacoma TRD 2019. It's got 68,000 miles, upgraded tires, new brakes. It's in great condition. I don't even think I've ever even used any of the crawl features or the off-roading on it. And uh, yeah, serious inquiries only. Hit me up on Instagram right here. Hit me in the DMs. I'll answer all of them. I'm looking at around 32,000 right now. It's worth on Kelly Blue Book probably about 35 because of how great the condition is. And they're kind of hard to find right now still. So definitely keep that in mind. You see the picture of it right there. It looks beautiful with Pip inside. So keep it in mind, think about it. And uh, Talk to me, people. So we took a right onto that, and we are going to be hitting up Camarillo and Stagecoach. I feel like this is one of those trails that's kind of undervalued, underrated, underridden in the area because it's just a lot of people don't come out this way. But if you're doing a loop from the Willow Staging area, this is a perfect ride for you doing a lunch break or just come and get out here for a little bit. And especially on the weekends, there's not as many hikers out this way. Highly recommend. All right, we got Scott in front of us once again with the bell. I haven't done this ride in a long time. They're telling me that uh, it's gotten a lot more rocky in the last six months or so from the rain and just getting blown out. So we're going to stop and take a look at the rocky bits, especially for people that haven't ridden it before, just to be safe. I wish they made this into berms. Yeah, it makes you feel like you, you want to go into the side, but you can't. Woo! And we've entered the single track, folks. One of my favorite trails. I don't ride it enough. You get caught in your routine sometimes and uh, forget about certain trails, but this is one that I always like to come back to. Is this it? Oh yeah, like right here. There we go. This trail definitely changed up a little bit. Definitely got washed out. That's a whole new section up there with that rocky area. Caught me off guard. I thought there was a switchback shortcut. They got rid of that. Or Mother Nature did. You can really open it up. Get some speed. Because you can see hikers from a mile away. No features. Just you, the bike, and the open road. That was... I was uncomfortable with what I just said. I didn't like that. 
There's gonna be a right hand turn coming up. You can't miss it. Actually, that's not true. You, you can miss it if you're not looking. All right, we took a right on that and pedaling up a little bit, nothing crazy. The big portion of the climbing is now finished. And from here, the trail meanders into the forest a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about. Not yet, we got the shrubbery right now. Scott with the bell, I, I'm so much more confident having him go in front with that bell, especially in the weekend. I keep talking about it, but I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Cool little area right here. Looks like they did some cutting. It looks like they did. You're gonna go underneath the 73 which is right above us right now. The 133 is gonna be on the left-hand side for just a map reference, so you know where we are right now. If you were driving into a Willow staging area, you'd be able to see us right now. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good, good, how you doing? Good, good. Everybody's good. This section's pretty good. It's almost like a uh, little bit rough for meadows, I'd say. Good for practicing your turns. Very switchbacky and then kind of, you know, switchbacky. I don't know where I was going with that. Woo <laughs> Talk eat less, pay attention more. Sometimes, Tony, you don't always have to be an idiot talking on the trail. Although it's kind of what I like to do. Makes me feel like I'm hanging out with you guys. That was weird. Bumped up and got a little air on us. <laughs> All right, this is the last bit, last trail. What's really cool about this loop is it drops you off literally at the parking lot. All right, guys, uh, ride has ended. We're over here. Cheers, guys. Patreon ride has ended. <laughs> I'm trying to find you. Oh, oh, back, back, back. There we go. Um, Adam Mock even showed up here. He's got a fractured ankle, but he showed up for uh, the, the spirit. The spirit of Adam is, lives within this group right now. <laughs> uh, if you want to join these rides, we do them once a month. Patreon right there. Boom. Check it out. Uh, monthly group rides. Uh, product giveaways on, uh, you know, you get an awesome community like everyone that's here right now. We meet some good people on the trails, and uh, we have a great time. So until next week, guys, I'll see you next week. That's good. <laughs> All right, until next week, guys. I'll see you later.